Good evening, Colin Humphreys. Just uh, overseeing the toss. I've got game, Ronnie. These two guys know each other very well. Ronnie O'Sullivan and Liang Wembo. Liang's solitary victory eight years ago at the International Championship. The most recent meeting last year at the World Grand Prix. As he said himself, speaking ahead of this match, last couple of seasons, something's been missing. And this season has been similar. A couple of last 64s. He has qualified for the upcoming German and European Masters, but first round losses at the English Open and the UK Championship, where he was beaten in a decider by Andy Hicks, who of course went on to make the quarterfinals there. who overcuts the red. Eight. Liang is undoubtedly dangerous. He is an inspirational sort of player. If he gets on a roll, he can beat anyone. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh, that's perfect with the red over the middle and the perfect angle on the blue. I mean, he'd like to nudge the main bunch because he's got the red over the middle, but it's not so easy to do that. You might still try it. It's just that you get a little greedy on those shots. You think, well, I've got a red over the middle, and sometimes what happens, you might be able to get through to the one in the middle, but you might not as well. It's might need a, a trace of side. Using that side, he had no control of the cue ball and hitting the yellow like that. Now, unless he takes a real risk here, the break comes to an end. Difficult shot, 21. wasn't it? Yeah, Nearly went in off the green, in fact, which he clearly wouldn't have played. Well, he decelerated massively what? on that O'Sullivan. It wasn't one of his best. When I think of these two, the other match that springs to mind was 2008 World Championship <laughs> quarterfinal. No one really knew much about Wembo then. Got to a quarterfinal at the World Championship before Ding and we did. People forget that. Looked likely to add to that tally last season in making five finals, but wasn't able to win one. And he started a little scratchily this evening. things had to go right on that shot oh, can he see enough to pop that perhaps I did a trace of left hand side 
So this black is frame ball. Yeah, when he landed on that pink in the way he did, in the opening leg, he knew that he was absolutely banging. He did have a couple of chances. A young one, Bob. It's only one snooker. Well, you don't think, I mean, I can't remember that many frames over the years that Sullivan has won needing a snooker. I'm sure there's loads, but I can't think of all that many significant ones. Someone will no doubt tell me otherwise. But if it's happened, it's not as much as players like Selby, Higgins and a few others. Well, it's not going to happen here either. No, that Friendly was uh, by O'Sullivan standards, a pretty ordinary frame. So advantage the underdog, Liang leads 1-0. Well, that is uh, right touch, isn't it? Because uh, <laughs> leaving the red over the pocket, he may get a smatter of applause, but he didn't know a great deal about the cue ball was going to hide behind the brown. Put oh, Sullivan in trouble here. He's got to get in behind this, and it's not an easy shot to do it, and, well, he has hit it. me as he as he covered the red head for the middle this time well the snooker gods at the moment are smiling down on Wenbo <laughs> twice he left a red over the hole twice a bolt color has got in the way well, but that's uh, very cleanly struck by O'Sullivan who of course made three of the four home nations finals last season if you take the black on I'd, I'd say this would be even better shot because you're leaving plenty and it's a missable shot, queuing. Now, oh, well played. Well played. Can't quite get the shot to get him in. Now he has to drop that in. No. So the black he's playing again is difficult, like the first one. It's like he's trying to wade through Probably treacle something. at the moment. No. no just, it's like everything is against him. In the frame in a bit. Little rueful smile. Are going in not to plan. However, that'll soon change if Wenbo misses those. What a chance that was! Sixty. Seventy. himself into position at last here. Twenty-five. Not quite perfectly on this one. But his close control as ever is very good, O'Sullivan. Wonderful touch. Thirty-two. Forty. Well, he's stretching across here, but around a couple of cushions, 41. takes him close to the black. The Adwenbo, these should be his, shouldn't they? Um, the rest shot he missed by his standards, pretty easy. And as we saw against Dominic Dale, it only takes a moment for O'Sullivan to suddenly 40. find a whole new level after an indifferent start. This is a beautiful cannon. Beautiful cannon to hit that full ball and be on the bottom one. 49. 56. 57. So he's too many in front now, the little smattering of applause told you that. 
and he had a great chance to be making this break himself. This with the rest, relatively straightforward by the standards of a rest shot. O'Sullivan at that stage looked, well, a little frustrated. Things not quite going his way. From Liang's point of view, an opportunity missed and perhaps the turning point of this match has he missed the boat already. Time will tell. Seventy-five. Seventy-six. Eighty-three. Now it's just a question of whether he does make century or not, which... Eighty-four. Sometimes nudge the red out. It's that annoying distance away from the cushion where you, if you did play cannon it you could go around the back of it or something the blue has covered the path it's got to double it or potential pockets maybe Ronnie didn't happen but a good break I'm afraid. Yeah, 86 after the Anwen Bo missed a clear chance to be making a similar sort of break himself oh dear the double kiss there is uh a terrible outcome to that shot. One. Eight. Nine. Well, he had to screw Five. back quite a bit further because all the other reds were covering it if he'd have played on it straighter. That's it. Sure, Liang will still be thinking about the miss with the rest early in the Thank second you. frame before O'Sullivan had settled. The Reds were inviting. And O'Sullivan, of course, took advantage of that miss with a break of 86. He felt as if he was likely to go 2 0 up at that seven. point, which anyone who's 2 0 up in a best of seven is going to fancy their chances. Not thrilled with that one, though. A few mutterings under his breath. He's not delighted with how the evening's going so far. But Sullivan, ultimately, he's in a stronger position now than he was at the start of the match. Well, now that is uh, has kept him alive in the frame. Not really much. So, the frame not quite done yet. We, we thought that Sullivan was about to win it. Now, possible backlash here for the Ang Wenbo. Can he do to O'Sullivan what O'Sullivan did to him in frame two? No. Sixteen. Yeah, he might be able to play a little stun onto the nearest of the two reds. Pretty good shot. I think he originally didn't need to play on it that day, but the situation was too enticing for him. What a chance this is. Surprise clearance. 24. Tricky red to the left centre pocket. This is the result. 31. Thirty-nine. 
Forty-two. So he needs up to and including the pink ball to get his lead back. Yeah, so Sullivan appeared to be getting on top. How quickly the momentum can shift. Got a great chance here to retake the lead. It's the one shot that can go wrong. 51. But it's pretty. I mean, you couldn't put it any better with your hand. Pretty perfect. Just about perfect. So. 56. He's back in front. He'll feel that he missed a big chance to win the second frame. But he looks second favourite to win this one. But he's cleared up nicely to the pink to pinch it. And so it's Liang Wenbo who moves back in front at two frames to one. Cleanly struck by O'Sullivan. Six. Seven. Twelve. Thirteen. Top web would have been better, but in some ways, 18. the other red's pretty handy as well to play on. The one he's closest to, in fact, it may be that he's the one he played on of the two. Bringing the back and black into play. 26. Flick the red, but not into a particularly 26. great position. Certainly not where the cue balls ended up anyway. It's the worst part of it. 27. Well, he kind of underhit it slightly, and now he's faced with the kind of shot which no one really likes. It's missable, also, he's just kind of going into reds here, not completely sure where they'll finish. Well, that's perfect now. That's a beautiful shot. Good pot and a nice cannon. 42. 43. 50. 51. 58. Back into the groove in this frame. That was a tremendous bit of queuing just now, wasn't it? Off the cushion. Very missable black. 59. They're trying to fix it. Some sort of disturbance, which O'Sullivan is just querying. Whatever it is, is trying to be fixed, but it doesn't seem to be affecting his concentration here. This has been an excellent break. Well, you'd think it could only be the scoreboard in the arena, I would say. I mean, I can't imagine what else would be worrying him. So the scoreboard in the arena is, uh, is not working, basically. It well, this is frame ball. Of course, there was a time when the referees would shout the scores out with top of their voice, and that was about 40 years ago. 69. I think he had three points on there, so as long as he knows that, he'll realise that buying snooker the frame is safe. 70. Well, this has been a terrific break. It really has great response to the disappointment of losing the previous frame when he looked in control. He's got tremendous consistency in these 70. Home Nations events making three of the four finals last season. 83. 84. And now closing in on what would be his 19th century of the campaign. 91. 92. 
Uh, it's a shame, though, Century, but the frame rate was the same. And a terrific break at that from O'Sullivan. <laughs> to restore parity here, it's two frames all. It is amazing that when you're not quite playing your best safety, you hit those bog colours full ball. It's like they're about three times as wide as what they really are. And it's given O'Sullivan something to go at here. And it was just the... The fact that he did hit the green, it, it completely changed the shot O'Sullivan was faced with, but he did stroke it in quite beautifully. O'Sullivan missed a few early in this match, and of course Liang had a great chance at the start of the second frame, which he failed to take, missing with the rest. O'Sullivan stepping in with 86. It's a pretty good shot that he's found a red to the middle and he didn't have a wide angle on the black so he had to really hit it hard to get enough pace to get the bunch open. A much better shot than it looked. And that, I think he, the one he's now played on is the one he would have been happy to be on. Played in behind it here. So things unfolding here before the very eyes in this frame from that safety shot which hit the green full ball from Wenbo. It's been very secure from distance this evening, O'Sullivan, 75%. He's striking the ball very sweetly now, O'Sullivan. And already, after just six minutes, pretty close to sealing this one. Very swiftly, this frame is all over. It's only a half chance, really, wasn't it? That long red, which he queued in what, so well. This is a couple of near misses for centuries. But not this time. 86 and 95. He's gone better this time. Brilliant break, this. It's 19th of the season. 1126 in total. And all done. That intimidatingly quick pace. He hasn't won a title since last year's sixth World Championship, his record-breaking 37th ranking crown. But when you see him play like this, it's hard to argue. But his skills are still as sharp as they've ever been. Tremendous break. Robertson, who made a bit of history yesterday, didn't he? Brand new highest aggregate frame score, 178. 
Yeah, I actually retweeted all the attempts. The Fleet Walker trying to hit a red. He seemed to go about four different ways. It's a bit of a freakish set of circumstances, really. Combination of good brake building and a series of continuous misses. Well, that's a good shot. At his best, a fantastic shot maker, Liang Wenbo. Saw a lot of that on his way to the English Open title. He's always had a lot of moving parts in his queue, actually, safe to say. The other players are incredibly still on shots. I mentioned Alex Higgins there, because he really did move it. No, Most of it was just after the shot, but a lot of things were, were going on in his queue, actually. And Wembo is not dissimilar, really. 277 career centuries. Just three this season. 16. And only 13 last. Same story of going into the bunch when you've got the backup red over the middle. We don't forget he's the man who nearly made two maximum breaks in the same evening of snooker. It was in the World Championships. He was going on to win his match. He made a maximum. Mr. Black about two frames later for a second. Well, that's not been done in professional play. So and when he's good, he's extremely good. One hundred and thirty-four. One hundred and four. One hundred and forty-seven on the frame. Well, One hundred and thirty-four. One hundred One hundred and forty frame and the match well member. Amazing, well done. And it's a great chance to take this match the distance. It's been thoroughly entertaining stuff. Fifty. Yeah. It's never much fun playing these. Anyone ever likes these shots? Well done, though. Well negotiated. Fifty-five. Like he's screwing the cue ball, I think, between green and brown and coming round for the reds, leaving the cue on the side of the table it is now. Oh, that's really well played. He had to get close to the brown, and once he did and missed it, he's always going to zip round on the red. And he decided to play low on the blue to play on the red up by the yellow. As a consequence of what he saw. Right in the middle of the pocket. Only 59 left. It's already three snookers for O'Sullivan. Seventy-two. He could clear the table here. That's a great way to go into the decider with all the momentum. O'Sullivan's turn to spend a frame in his chair. Eighty. How talented Liang Wenbo is, so watchable. 88. You can't still see the very best of him in the years ahead. 95. Technique, as I say, he's not repetitive. He doesn't always work, but as we're seeing here when it does, definitely not a mechanical player. It's 
and he has to get that timing right. And he got it right here. Beautiful break. This really good comeback from one hundred and one. Completely swamped for the two previous. One hundred and three. Yeah, this is a statement, isn't it? To his good friend O'Sullivan. I know you've had the better of me almost every time we played, but I'm up for it this evening. One of the matches of the week, for sure. 110. 115. 121. 128. The one to eight. Total clearance from the Yang Wenbo to level it up. Right back at you from the Chinese. We're going all the way. We've already seen some terrific performances this week at the Scottish from Open from Ronnie O'Sullivan, Judd Trump. But we're seeing two players producing sparkling snooker to a decider. Both producing century clearances. Is it going to be a case of whoever gets in first wins the match, as Jimmy suggested? You can get to shots, get to reds, but not in the way he wants to, so he's got to play off the cushion. It's slightly risky playing it this way. He just can push the red into play. Wow. Has he been lucky? He's coming around to have a look. I reckon yes. Keep your eye on the red to the right of the cube. We'll see if that moves here. What? Well, now, in first. Eight. Nine. Plays the pink, then he's got a choice of reds to the right corner. Sixteen. They're good pals, these two, but... You know, when Bo's got a career of his own, you might just think, well, you, you know, I owe you one back here, buddy. Probably thinks he's due to beat him. But whatever happens, it's been a, an outstanding game. Yeah. 24. He could play the cannon on the right hand, red second down, and just play on the one at the bottom of the bunch. It's a cannon if he plays, he's got to be absolutely right. And he's gone into them, and he needs a bit of luck. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's too bad. He might be on the red through the gap between the pink and the bunch. That's a big red to be on. I'm sure he's quite as happy now, unless something goes in that middle of that bunch. Running on momentum here, you feel it. The adrenaline is pumping. Mind you, that's often when he plays his most inspirational snooker, so... Who's to say he's wrong? Big shot coming up here. Yeah, Goodness, that was close, 39. you know. That was close. He's very disappointed because he knows he probably should have made more, and I think the red is available, so... That was ever so close to going in off that left jaw. And Sullivan's got the red of on now. Sullivan... Well coming to the table somewhat cold of course having sat out the previous frame and the first half of this one four five well it's not uh, not one of his best little cannons the result remains in doubt Quite a good shot that, he screwed in and out of the bunch, and now... Ten. He's got a choice of reds. There isn't anything difficult here, but the position of the match... ...would be the only reason he wouldn't Eleven. clear up, I suppose. Still got to do this. Eighteen. Nineteen. Was looking good for Liang, lost prime position, Six. took on the tough red to the yellow pocket, got very close. 27. A little bit straight on this. Not, 
That's not the angle anyone really wants, but he's not saying he can get himself on a red. But he couldn't get really close to his next red. 34. Struck that with authority, there was pressure on it. The crowd acknowledging that. But it's worked out ever so well. Very fine shot. Pace, I think, was the key. Awesome. Didn't overhit. If he's going to hit reds, he's not going to push them on cushions at that speed. Well, that feels like a match winner. Terrific shot from O'Sullivan at a key moment. Forty-eight. He blitzed Michael 49. Giorgio in the previous round. This has been a very different sort of match. He's been pushed to the limit here by some excellent play from Liang Wenbo, who's been struggling for form in the last couple of seasons but has reminded us just how good he can be but is it going to be in vain now is it going to be a repeat of that masters where Wimbo should have beaten him and then didn't by the odd frame and Sullivan went on to win it of all the ones we've seen so far Sullivan really should have lost it Wimbo had it in his own hands red any high value color 62 and he'd have got over the line and he hasn't limped over the line he'll have done it in a very high standard of snooker this match terrific game the big breaks are all well and good but it's clearing up when you're under pressure from some way behind to get into the next round that is even more impressive I know Sullivan's passed that test here. 79. What a match. That brilliant 62 clearance from Liang to lead 2-1. O'Sullivan coming back with 95 and a 1-3-1 one, one total clearance for 3-2. Liang responding with a 1-2-8 clearance of his own for 3-all. And got his nose in front in the decider. Missed the tough red to the yellow pocket. And O'Sullivan has stepped in with a steely break. Surely the match of the tournament so far. Fabulous entertainment for this crowd in North Wales. But it's the Scottish Open and Ronnie O'Sullivan is through to the last 16 once again. An absolute cracker. He's beaten Liang Wenbo. Four frames to three.